Every year, about 250,000 women in the United States are diagnosed with breast cancer. Most of these women were not known to be at high risk. That's why researchers at Mayo Clinic are looking for better ways to identify who's at increased risk in order to enhance early detection and perhaps someday help these women prevent the disease. They're finding clues in breast tissue. Well, our main goal is to try to do a much better job of identifying which women are at significantly increased risk for developing breast cancer. To do that, Dr. Lynn Hartman and her colleagues at Mayo Clinic are looking inside the breast at the tiny lobules, the site where breast cancer starts. The lobule is the functional unit of the breast. When a woman is pregnant, reaches the end of her pregnancy, those expand and become little milk producing factories. After a woman is finished with childbearing, as she approaches menopause, those lobules are supposed to go away. What should happen is a process called involution. And research shows that if the lobules in a woman's breast do not regress by age 55, she has three times the risk of developing breast cancer than women whose lobules do. <laughs> Dr. Hartman's research, published in the Journal of Clinical Oncology, looks deeper into that tissue to try to figure out where a woman is in the involution process. The idea is to determine more precisely her individual risk. It's a twofold approach. One is actually counting the small substructures called acini, A C I N I. These are the actual little tiny glands where milk production occurs. Second is to measure the area of the lobules. Here's what her research found women who were more likely to develop breast cancer had larger lobules with more. Asinians. In other words, they had less reduction of lobules in their breast as they aged. The goal for Dr. Hartman and her team is that this research will become part of a new risk assessment tool to be used with existing risk features such as age and family history. And if doctors know who's at increased risk, they can help women take steps to better control that risk. Dr. Hartman says the next step in this ongoing research may be to try to figure out why some women have normal regression of lobules and others don't. And that information may help them discover ways to help promote the involution process. For Medical Edge, I'm Vivian Williams.